Hi all, welcome to Return to the HP Elite Desk 800G1 Tower PC. What I'm going to do is run a few graphical be graphical benchmarks and a few games and report the performance. Now as a side note, I've been having problems with Bandicam on this system. So what I'm going to do is use a excellent freeware program called OBS Studio to record the footage and I'll be using either the games benchmark tool or I'll play the game and report on the frames per second that I can see from the own in-game display. Now I won't be testing too many games but uh, I will be testing ones that will tax this system so I won't be running things like Fortnite, Apex or um, Valorant, Team Fortress or CSGO. But if you want me to, just drop me a comment. So anyway, what I'll do first of all is run Valley and then Superposition. I'm not going to run Heaven because that won't that won't tax the system as much as Valley or Superposition. I'll run those and then I'll run them again with OBS recording so you can see the downshift in performance. So selecting the high preset in Valley and highest resolution, everything else is set to off like anti-aliasing. Now without OBS recording get a score of 2013 and with OBS recording get a score of 1688. So that's about a downshift of 16% with OBS running. Now looking at superposition without OBS recording get a score of 3325 and with OBS recording a score of 2874 which is similar downshift so I suppose you could expect that in any of the games that I'm playing same reduction in performance say about 15-16% on average. Right so what I'll do is I'll run a few games and report on the performance. This is Doom Eternal. Now I've selected the low quality prefix which on a monitor this size which is 23 inch, 24 inch that's just fine. Uh, it's a well optimised game anyway and even with OBS recording it's uh, getting above 60. I mean you'll only see 60 frames per second anyway on this type of monitor which is uh, just fine really. And there's one or two characters on the screen so it's a fairly busy area it may get busier later on so that frame rate will probably drop a touch but at the moment this is more than playable um, on a FPS game I'd, I'd leave the quality it, it here uh, low because you want as many frames as possible really um, I also recommend Doom from 2016 because the single player campaign is excellent even if the multiplayer is not as active as it used to be. Right, so that's Doom Eternal. This is Cyberpunk 2077. Now you can be sure this will really tax the system. So what I've done in graphical settings is selected the low quality preset. Some are still still set to medium and a few flags are still on so there's a bit headroom should you feel the need to uh, get more frames out of this game. And it's on the maximum resolution as well, something to be aware of. So what I'll do is I'll stop recording, run the in-game benchmark and report back with the results. So the in-game benchmark has finished and um, we're getting a frame rate of mid 30 frames per second. Um, the concern is that maximum is 62 and the minimum is 24 so I expect downshift in frames per second during busy areas. That's my guess anyway. That's why those figures, there's a big gap between those two figures. Um, there's a little bit of headroom as I pointed out in the game settings. Some are still set to minimum, uh, medium and there's still a few flags still switched on. And also the resolution is at the maximum 1920 by 1080 so maybe just that as well. And get minimum and maximum as close together as possible. Okay so that's Cyberpunk.
sort now is Forza Horizon 4 so what I'll do is I'll let this benchmark run and report back with the results okay so the benchmark has finished and we set a target of 60 frames per second and we've achieved 54 but don't forget OBS was recording I forgot to switch it off when I was doing the benchmark but uh, it shows it's not had too much of an impact so maybe gives you a little bit of headroom if you want to up the quality from low and switch on a few of the effects as well so it's just a matter of experimenting see which you're most comfortable with so that's Forza Horizon 4 on to Shadow of the Tomb Raider now now this game is a few years old but uh, on the highest settings or thereabouts it can still give the system a run for its money so looking at the uh, display it's got the highest resolution in the graphical settings and moving on to graphics I've selected the high preset so there's a lot of flags switched on and a lot set to the highest value like texture quality so I'll run the benchmark and report back with the results so the benchmark's finished and it's a shade under 27 frames per second average which is not really ideal but I suppose an exploration game it's not too bad but I imagine there's some scenes with a lot of characters moving around that's when that frame rate's going to go down a lot as the looking at the minimum it's on the GPU 20 frames per second yeah so there's uh, going to be significant downshift I would imagine so what I'll do is I'll run this on the medium preset so a little bit better above 30 which is on this system ideally you want an average of 30 um, again the GPU minimal is 25 so what I'll do is I'll set this to low and run the benchmark again so we're getting an average of 40 and to be honest it's not that great deal of difference between low and medium I mean the minimal frames per second on the GPU is a bit higher but it's up to you if you want to experiment okay so that's Shadow of the Tomb Raider so just recap on this system I've run the two graphical benchmarks Valley and Superposition showing what downshift to expect if you're recording a game with OBS but most of the time I just let the uh, benchmark in-game benchmark run but in the game of Doom Eternal I actually played a bit of that game uh, just as a side note I noticed that graphics card was running a little bit hotter than I'd like so I've set a custom fan curve which is easy to do in the AMD software and that's got that uh, temperature right down without compromising noise or performance so if you want me to run a game on this system or if you've got any questions just drop me a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so